In the great words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, why, hello there. What is up, Real Diversity? We're here to talk about Dr. Stone. Episode, the next episode, uh, we're predicting about that. Um, but first off, I want to say, well, actually, let me say this first. Superman's cool. Captain America's cool. Goku's cool. But if you really think about it, wouldn't you want to be Optimus Prime? Like, who, like who, who, whoever stopped the guy? The guy, he's just unstoppable, great leader. And it just, just happened to see him the other day on TV. And I was like, man, Optimus Prime is, yeah, he's just really that guy. And, uh, but anyways, on to Dr. Stone. Um, so this is the first time, uh, to just to kind of recap my last episode. The last episode was, uh, just finishing up on how, uh, they know about Senku and how, why, um, and why they know about Senku and how they're there. So um, pretty much, and and what I, I want to point out too is that um that they all like like all four of the everyone in the space station they all died uh pretty soon after landing. I don't want to say soon like it was a few years they had kids things like that. Um, everyone had kids, but it was like if you really think about it. it like even even Senku's dad, bi- uh, not biological dad, he died, and it was just like kids running around at the end. It's like, well, how? I mean, even though he taught them how to, they probably knew how to take care of themselves, but like they were like way too young at the time. I feel like that they died uh, to have like survived. But anyways, that's not the point. But uh, they last ended that episode with basically uh, finishing up on that, and at the end of the episode, again, told Senku they're coming. Um, so we know they're coming. Takasa and his army are coming, and that means we're gonna get to see Taiju and um and the other girl again. I can't think of her name. It starts with a Y. You you something. Um, we're gonna see them two again. And uh, but let me say this: I don't think anyone's gonna die. Well, one we've already had two like kind of jump scares on devs, which if you actually believe Senku died earlier in the series, I don't wish I think no one did. He didn't. Um, and then uh, again, almost died by Magna. Uh, so those are the two, but no one's officially died. And then Ryu was going to die from her sickness, but she got saved. So pretty much right now, uh, everyone's happy. Everyone's sad. And I think, uh, speaking on that Magna or Magma, I can't remember exactly. He's, I think he's going to be on the good side now from remote forward on. I don't think he's going to be a problem because when, when he is, if you really think about it, he's, um, He's a descendant of like you know uh, Senku and all this stuff, so I don't think they're they're gonna like you know fight anymore. It's no, I don't think it's gonna be no interior conflict, uh, but it is fan to be a fight against Tukasa. Um So I think he, uh, I don't think he's gonna die either. I think he's gonna eventually join with um, Senku. I think I think a lot of people are gonna join with Senku. Just kind of simply, it's gonna all I feel like be like the way Gen joint. He's gonna they're gonna see either like what Senku has to offer and things like that, uh, whether it be like noodles or whether it be like you know uh, Coke again or anything like that. But as far as conflict wise, I don't think too many people are gonna die. And also, but I do think Takasu's gonna bring probably some greater evil uh, than just himself. So he does have some pretty. Thug, he has thug guys, and I and it and it's really like, was this guy like a? I think I'm sure they're gonna probably go back a little more on his backstory, but like, was this guy in a gang or something? Like, all the guys he revived just are all just thugs. Like, I mean, like, where do you just find all these guys at? Like, so fast. I mean, you you just weren't around no normal people at all when you were just on um purifying people, and uh, so yeah, that's that. Um, and also if you think about this too, uh, let me uh. Stop for a moment on the prediction. And talk a little bit about the uh, last episode. Uh, what that was one of the first episodes where I've ever like in anime. I usually don't ever get sad or anything about over anime or anything, even if it's like a sad moment. You know, even like when people like Jiraiya died in art or something like that. I was it's sad, but like I was never like man. But also I had one of those, those moments this episode, just just with the way it just felt. You know, uh, just felt like they were just taking out the people that came down. It's just. This, you know, a thousand years passed, thousands of years before, you know, anyone awoken, which, like, was Senku, you know, and it was just like, wow, uh, that is, it's just ridiculous, but anyways, um, and another thing is, if I, if you think about it, if Senku, everything could have been different, if Senku was, if he was the one in space, if he was the one in space, 
everyone would be alive right now. Because one, one, a lot of stones are have have. It's been a thousand years. A lot of stones have broken. You know, they're just uh, you know, it's no telling if if the person is still intact. Like once they get on, you know, purified, and just depending on how many how many after like three thousand years, our stones are still like you know in good shape. You know, surprisingly, Senku was, Taiju was, and and everyone, you know, uh, Takasu, but. And everyone just got a revival so far, but you know it's just at this point, thousands of years later, uh, I pretty much probably half the population can't even get revived at this point. Uh, so it's gonna have to be a whole new start. But if you think about it, if Senku was the one in space and he managed to get down to Earth, he could have basically saved everyone. Which, which could have no, 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 it would have ended too fast. But I say that would have been. That I also would have found that a bit of interesting story. But I think that that one of that's obviously would have been like a three second story but it, it could have been it could have um it could have still been a modern day kind of ish battle but uh i guess this way it just shows more science which is which make, makes anime so great it's all the science to it but um yeah uh but going back into predictions uh enough i think we i covered enough about the episode uh if you guys seen the episode because you're probably here to assume and what i didn't know was that the um they don't have previews at the end of the episodes i never noticed that because i never watched the previews I always just once the episode's over and most of my prediction videos have just been off the dome and what i think so um even when i have a my hero prediction video that's just was off the dome and things like that well no i still watched the preview for that one but uh just every prediction video besides my hero ones I've just been off the dome. It's 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 just I don't watch no previews or anything like that. Uh, most of the time. Uh, but here I really do think okay. So it's stone. The next the next episode is though we do know called Stone Wars. So one if they come, which they're coming next episode. One we know Senku and them has not prepared yet. I don't think, and I don't really think Senku's gonna have time to get like weapons. Of mass destruction and modern day weapons like a gun or anything like that yet but i do think he will definitely he has an army now pretty much in a sense which is pretty much just gonna be like everyone i don't think anyone really knew was gonna step in but pretty much everyone who's played a big part now um is gonna pretty much be um like chrome and chrome's friends and the guard keepers all of them are gonna pretty much play a big part into this stone war, but per se. But let's get into my main overall predictions for these episodes, and or well, basically, it's just gonna be episodes coming up because we have no real plot at this point, and it's almost no predicting what's gonna happen next. But let me get these general predictions I want. One, I don't think anyone who's ever played a big key part is gonna die. Maybe someone who we don't really know about. Maybe the old village elders and something like that. Someone like them may they might end up dying or something like that. Uh, but like I don't think anyone of the younger folks, like the old man or anyone who we've seen play a big part in uh you know most of the episodes is gonna. Uh, we're gonna, and also another prediction was for sure we're gonna see Taiju and M again. We're gonna definitely see those two again. Uh, Takasa and I don't think Takasa's gonna die. Uh, as much as you may want him to or not or whatever, but what well, he could he was he was pretty evil. He does he did kill bodies. If you per se, I did say earlier that no one ever really died. But if you want to count him knocking the heads off some of them stones as killing them, which he basically did kill him, decapitate him. Uh, but uh, yeah, then you could say he's a murder. But I don't. He well maybe that might be the only solution is then they take him out. Everyone else might join Senku, but. Uh, Cause they're the two alpha males in this situation here, but you never know. I I feel I feeling that Taiju might just just eventually just join size, and everyone's just gonna join size, and this this is gonna be by the end of it, everyone's getting purified. This is not really a show, in my opinion, that you can really, or what I think this show isn't gonna last like that long. I don't think it's gonna be going on like I think it's probably just gonna be one season and probably done, but. You never know, uh, but that's how I feel about it. So I feel like now it's going to really, once whatever this Stone Wars concludes, I feel like that will probably be the end of it uh, for per se. But yes, there are going to be some bunch of new people on Taiju's side that are going to, um, Takasu, or basically Taiju, who is on their side too, uh, Takasu's side, who are going to rear their heads. And then also, there's going to be a lot of mind games, definitely for sure. Going to be a lot of... Uh, 
thinking a lot of strategy. Uh, we don't know yet what St. Quinton's going to plan to do and how he's going to finish. So, but obviously, he was expecting him to be coming, and he's ready at this point. Um, so, there's no telling what he's already prepared and got planned. But it's going to be crazy coming up, and, and it's almost unpredictable. But there is a few things, like I pointed out, that for sure is going to happen. Um, but like I said, we will definitely be dropping another video once we get into the next episode and be we're able to see more exactly how this is going to unfold. So we're going to keep dropping episodes, probably uh, every episode, drop a new video. And I hope you guys enjoy Real Diversity. We're out. Peace.